Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Paul, the Canadian Snowman, here once again with some more geography. Now, Nicaragua, you are up. <sighs> don't know anything. I really don't. Uh, I know the name. I'm trying to remember if you guys uh, were mentioned in like a previous video. But uh, so my memory is horrible, guys. I, I, I apologize about that. But anyways, we're going to jump into it and see what uh, Nicaragua has to offer. So, yeah, let's do it. Dun, dun, dun. Before I do, please hit that like and subscribe button below. Please and thank you. And, yeah, let's do it. Now, I asked you guys, the Nicaraguan geography peeps, if Central America was a family, what member would Nicaragua be? And more or less, it kind of goes like this. No, oh, jolly good show, Panama old chap. Mm -hmm. mm, yes, indeed, it is of utmost excellence. Hey, yeah, you! Look at all these fake <laughs> shit. Right, man, what the <laughs> man, <laughs> man, what the <laughs> Little exaggerated, but eh, come on, it's, it's, it's kind of true. Okay. It's time to learn geography. No! Hey everybody, I'm your host Barbs, and we are back in Central America. Now, in the words of Nicaraguan geography Luis, I love my country, but I kind of have to admit, it's kind of like the New Jersey of Central America. Like everyone knows that a Nicaraguan can cuss you out, but once you befriend them, you are part of a tight loving family. A family that cusses each other out. Hey, honest <laughs> uptight confrontation beats false delusional sense of complacency any day. We're getting ahead of ourselves though. Let's talk about the technical stuff first. Here's the mappy segment thing. We do it in every episode. You know what I'm talking about. Well, I can understand that, though. I mean, I have friends, you know, we call each other names all the time, you know. It's nothing bad. It's just how, you know, friends like to give each other, you know, shit. So, you know, that's kind of just a thing. Uh, and I guess some family, my, my family doesn't, but I'm, I'm sure there's, you know, it would surprise me if they do it, too. So, I mean, it's just, you know, a thing. It's just a thing, guys. Do -do -do. Yeah. Nicaragua, named after the Nicaral tribe and agua, the Spanish word for water, referring to the two major lakes found within this country. First of all, the country is located in Central America, a bi-coastal nation with coasts on both the Pacific and Caribbean Sea. They are located just below oh, Honduras yeah. and above Costa Rica, and with Costa Rica, they really did not want them to get even the slightest touch of Lake Nicaragua. At its narrowest point, the corridor is less than two miles wide from the border. And not only that, but it gets even weirder with Costa Rica along the border with the Caribbean. They take some strange twists, cut through a peninsula, claimed the entire Portillo's Lagoon, completely enclaved by Costa Rica. Anyway, the country what? is divided into 15 departments, two autonomous regions, with the capital and largest city, Managua, located right under Lake Managua, or Xolotlan, and it contains the country's largest airport, Managua's Augusto Caesar Sandino International. The second and third largest cities are Leon and Masaya. The majority of the country, at about 89%, lives along the southwestern portion of the country. Here, most major roads and avenues of transport lie. Otherwise, only one main highway, the number five connects to the eastern Caribbean wow. coast and it ends in Puerto Cabezas. And in the southwest, the port of Corinto is the largest seaport that handles most shipments. Most of Nicaragua's west side has an uninterrupted coast, whereas the east side has all the main offshore islands, the largest ones being the Cayos Mosquitos Biological Reserve and the Corn Islands. See these guys that are nicely close to Nicaragua? Nope, they belong to Colombia for some reason. Otherwise, the country has a few <laughs> territorial disputes. You have the Bajo Nuevo and Serenia Banks, Jamaica and the U.S., and back to the border with Costa Rica, this entire island called Isla Calero is disputed and it has a crazy story behind it. Look it up. Interestingly enough though, like Costa Rica, Nicaragua's address system is ridiculously confusing. They don't have street names or postal codes. So in order to find a place or send mail, they go by direction and distance from landmarks. And half the time the landmarks don't even exist anymore. Oh my God. What was the other country who did this? Oh my, I forget the name of it. You guys, you guys got to point out to me below. We've done the country where, yeah, I asked the same question. I asked the question, how do you send mail? Like, you know, and it's just like the third house down from something or other. And uh, that's just how it is done, which is very weird and neat at the same time. So definitely interesting stuff. But yeah, this, you know, Nicaragua has the same thing going on. Okay, cool. 
go by direction and distance from landmarks. And half the time the landmarks don't even exist anymore, so they have to write where the landmark used to be. It's like, hey, I wanna write you a letter. What's your address? Oh, it's simple. You know, just write down the West Barrio of the city of Managua, the third floor unit in the light blue apartment, three and a half blocks down from the statue of the soldier with the hat by the lake, but not the soldier with the hat and the gun. There's a lemon tree across from us with an old lady that sells lemonade with the lemons that she stole from the lemon tree, but not the old lady selling lemonade and condoms like 10 varas away from her, <laughs> just to the left. What's a vara? Oh, it's uh, 84 centimeters, roughly. Uh, yeah, it's a unit of measurement we use here in Nicaragua as well. Okay, maybe not that extreme, but yeah, it might be hard for non-locals to know exactly where things are when they arrive. Let's see, uh, what else do we have? Uh, the country used to have a rail network, but it was kind of suspended in 2001. Uh, there was a point in time when multiple countries like the USA and China were like, hey, let's try to do the same thing Panama did and build a second canal from coast to coast. But then Nicaragua was like, no, it's gonna destroy too much rainforest and everyone hates that idea. Anyway, if you decide <laughs> to visit, some places of interest might include the National Museum, the Leon Ruins and the Leon Cathedral, the beautiful historic city of Granada, the Masaya Craft Market, the cliff carvings of El Tisse, the Revolution Museum, so many cigar factories that offer tours, the Zapatera Island monoliths, Apoyo Lagoon, Matagalpa Chocolate Factory and Tour, this cool chocolate spa where you can get a chocolate massage, the Casita Volcano nice. Memorial, the San Jacinto Mud Pools, the stilt communities of Cayos Mesquitos, beautiful city of Esteli and its waterfalls, and one of the top attractions, you can actually sandboard down Cerro Negro, the youngest volcano in Central yeah. America. And that's the thing, if there's one iconic symbol that summarizes the power of Nicaragua, it would be the volcano. And there's quite a few of them that we can talk about in this next section. All right. Earn a master's degree in business fun, online man. from top ranked Wake Forest. Gain market driven skills. You can like getting that uh, yeah, chocolate massage or whatever it was, man. I get obviously you got to jump in the shower after that, man. Me all sticky and stuff, but it does seem like something neat. I would definitely try it out. I'm definitely doing like snowboarding, you know, that snowboarding deal. Why not, man? It's a fun stuff. Oh, Central yeah. America is known for many things. The vibrant traditions, the confusing politics, and of course, the landscape. The country may have some tense stuff going on, and we won't gloss over it, but for now, let's just kind of enjoy the natural view. First of all, the country is located on the eastern part of the Ring of Fire, right at the convergence of the North American Plate and the Cocos Plate, where the Middle American Trench off the coast lies. This is essentially what gives Nicaragua its volcanic belt, about 19 of which are active, mostly dotting the coast, on the southwest side, the largest one being San Cristobal. Just to skip away, you find the largest lakes, Lake Managua or Lake Xolotlan, and the bigger one, Lake Nicaragua or Cosibolca. It is the largest lake not only in Nicaragua but all of Central America. Volcanoes dot each one of these lakes. You have Apoyeque and Momotombo for Managua, and the most famous landmark, Omotepe Island made of two volcanoes, Concepcion and Maderas in the middle of Lake Nicaragua, all of which nice. are active to some degree. The weird thing is, even though the lake is less than 10 miles from the coast, it actually drains into the Caribbean via the San Juan River that creates part of the border with Costa Rica. Nonetheless, the Cocos huh. River up north on the border with Honduras is the longest river of the country. However, the Rio Grande de Matagalpa is the longest completely within the country. The country is divided into three physical regions, the Pacific Lowlands, where the volcanic cool stuff is, the North Central Highlands, where the tallest peak Mokoton lies, and the Caribbean Lowlands, which are made up of primarily dense rainforest. On the Caribbean coast, you have swampy wetlands that receive the most rainfall out of anywhere else in the country at over 250 inches. There's so much more okay. we can talk about, like how Masaya Volcano has a constant bubbling lava pit, Somoto Canyon is cool. Lake Managua has a bit of a pollution problem, but we'll save some of that for Fan Friday. In the meantime, this is the part where I take a triple shot of espresso and Noah fills in. The things you see on YouTube. Now, Nicaragua's land is lush and rich, but the sad reality is these resources don't exactly quite reflect the fragile state of their economic output. They rank as the second poorest nation in the Western Hemisphere after Haiti in terms of nominal GDP and GDP per capita. Around 40% of people live off less than a dollar a day, and about 15% of the GDP is subsisted by remittance money and sent from family members abroad. They are currently Man. members of the IMF's heavily indebted Poor Countries Initiative that assists in international relief. This is due to a number of factors we we'll discuss later, but essentially Nicaragua's economy is kind of like this. Oh, we're doing great. We're doing great. Okay, well, that wasn't too bad. Hey, we're doing great again. Okay, well, stuff like that happens all the time. Nothing could possibly go wrong this time. Wow. Hey, by the way, uh, this is uh, Duncan from Curly Kid Life. Follow him on Instagram. Say hi. Hiya. <laughs> 
They're also the nation with the <laughs> lowest percentage of electricity generation in Central America. Many private homes depend on oil for generators, which also led to an energy crisis in 2006. Interestingly enough, the energy they do produce in the private sector is pretty clean. The World Energy Council has recently ranked Nicaragua as the country with the highest geothermal energy potential, as over 10% of their energy is already generated through heat from the volcanoes with potential for more. Wildlife is abundant here, of course. You have hundreds of different mammals such as primates, bats, felines like the jaguar, hundreds of different birds including the national bird the turquoise browed mot mot otherwise it's time to end this segment like we always do food some dishes might include things like fritanga quesillo indio viejo rondon chancho con yuca nakatamo bajo sopa de mondongo pinolillo drink and almost all of you have mentioned vigaron and gallo pinto classic dishes okay. all right so that does it for the land now there's just one piece left missing to this puzzle the people the graphics Thank you, Noah. Follow him on Instagram. You got it. Now, we've discussed some of the nicknames of other previous Central American states. Costa Ricans are Ticos, Salvadorans are Guanacos, Guatemalans are Chapins, Hondurans are Catrachos, and Nicaraguans are Pinoleros. Yeah. Okay. And Nicaraguans love being Nicaraguan. In fact, they have a saying, Soy puro Pinolero Nicaraguense por gracia de Dios. Or, I am totally Pinolero Nicaraguan by the grace of God. First of all, the country has about 6.2 million people today, and due to diaspora, about one out of every six Nicaraguans in the world lives either in the USA or Costa Rica. The country is primarily wow. made up of mestizos at around 69%, whereas the white population, mostly with Spanish heritage, makes up about 17%, the black community makes up about 9%, and the remainder are mostly made up of various indigenous Amerindian groups. They use the Cordoba as their currency, they use the American Type A plug outlet, and they drive on the right side of the road. Now you've probably gathered from the graph that Nicaragua is pretty diverse. Much of it is due to their history of colonization and various powers getting involved. Everything from Christopher Columbus to French pirates to this crazy American dude. For one, Nicaragua has the largest community of people of African descent in Central America, most of whom live on the East Caribbean coast, especially in the town of Bluefields. As mentioned in the Honduras episode, the majority were actually brought over by the British back when they had colonized what back then was called the Mesquite. Coast, named after the Mosquito tribe that lived there, and today the Garifuna uh, community lives on. Today, the majority of them actually speak English or. I ain't gonna lie, like Mosquito Coast. I was, oh, obviously, I was thinking Mosquito, and I was like, why would you go on a land there, man? It just sounds like a place where you're eating alive. But never mind, it was a tribe that lived there and today the Garifuna community lives on. Today the majority of them actually speak English or English Creole as their first language okay. and they have a similar dialect to Jamaican. Otherwise there are around 20 main indigenous communities found within Nicaragua, most of whom are related to the larger Aztec and Maya peoples that historically inhabited the Mesoamerican subcontinent like the Rama, Mesquito, and Sumo tribes. Now of course Spanish is the official language, however Nicaraguans are known for having their own distinct way of talking and slang. Here are some of you guys, the geography peeps, explaining. First of all, we do not pronounce the letter letter S at the end of words. For example, when we say number two in Spanish, we say DO instead of DOS. Nicaraguans is used uh. bo instead of using tu o ten, the same bo. And growing up, we had a lot of slang words used. Tuani and de cachimba, maje, no hay falla, solo mate sos. Nicaraguans is tons of cars a lot in all the things that they say. One of their most famous ones is hijo or son of Que se rinde tu madre is a phrase that can be heard as their battle cry for all the protest. Google it, look it up, get informed about the unrest going on in Nicaragua. Thank you! They're very passionate, and despite being okay. the second poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, it's totally safe to travel and visit. They have the lowest homicide rate in Central America at only about 6 or 7 per 100,000 inhabitants. Lower than Panama and Costa Rica. Nicaragua. What? Yeah, less than those two, and those are often seen as the good guys. The largest faith group, like many other Latin countries, is Roman Catholicism at about 58%, whereas about a third are Protestant. Often during times of political crisis, the Catholic Church will act as mediators between parties to help alleviate tension. Religion has played a crucial role in the development of Nicaraguan culture. There's so much to discuss, and here's Random Hannah to explain. <laughs> Someone say Hannah? Nicaraguans are known oh, for having right. a colorful mixture of variables that make them who they are. Like the traditional mestizaje costume that fuses Spanish and indigenous textures worn during celebrations. Nicaragua is loaded with folklore and legends. They are often called the Latin country with the most poets per capita. Some folklore stories are fun and happy, others creepy and scary. A lot of them contain ghost women for some reason. Yeah, that's Unique cool, to Nicaragua. Though. I like those kind of stories. You know, so that's awesome. You know, just the mystery about it, you know, that's got to be pretty cool, right?
grow up over there and the kids learning this stuff. Scary. A lot of them contain ghost women for some reason. Ghost Unique women. to Nicaragua is El Wawense. It's honored on the UNESCO Intangible Heritage List. This performance tells legends and folklore done with masks and costumes are That's usually scary. at the Feast of San Sebastian. The masks also make great souvenirs. Then you have the La Griteria or Purisma, a celebration similar to Halloween but done to honor the Assumption of the Virgin Mary on the 7th of December. The East Coast of Nicaragua within the black community celebrates a maypole festival every May with music and dancing. The Prima Vista art style gained popularity in the 70s and today is still prevalent. And finally, Nicaragua also sticks out as one of the few Latin countries that prefers to play baseball instead of soccer. Many Nicaraguans have moved on to play for the MLB, including national hero Dennis Martinez, the first Nicaraguan to play in the majors. Thank you, Hannah. Now it's time for history. In the quickest way I can summarize it, native tribes. Christopher Columbus arrives. This dude founded the first cities, independence from Spain, annexation to the first Mexican empire, overthrow of Mexican empire, now it's part of the Federal Republic of Central America. Five years later, yeah, that didn't work out. Nicaragua is finally its own thing. Small civil wars. This American dude tried to take over the country. He gets executed. British let go of the Mosquito Coast. US occupies Nicaragua. Creation of Sandino's army. Americans leave. Samosa dynasty. Sandista revolution. Country leans more towards communist allies, post-conflict period, defeat of Sandista in the first democratic elections in history, slow recovery of the economy, Sandista party returns to power, things cool down, economy starts to grow a bit, protests against the president, refugees flee, and that's kind of where we are now. Some famous yeah. people either from Nicaragua or of Nicaraguan descent might include people like Augusto Cesar Sandino, Arlen Shue, Violeto Barrios de Chamorro, Ruben Dario, Daisy Zamora, Eddie Cool, Luis Enrique, Hernaldo Zuniga, Tony Melendez, Salvador and Katia Cardenal, Bianca Jagger, Michelle Richardson, Alexis Arguello, Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez, and Claudia Pohl. All right, well, that being done yeah. and said, we have to move on to the final segment, Nicaragua's Friends. Friends up, guys. Who's going to be? Who's now, when it comes one? to friends, Nicaragua kind of has like a double-sided nature. They have their core group, but then they have their like, whoa, what the really group. For one, they are one of the only few countries that recognizes disputed autonomous nation states like South Ossetia, Abkhazia, and Taiwan. Taiwan, in fact, even gave a controversial $100 million loan as a lifeline support that was accepted by President Ortega amidst protests. Although the USA wow. has a lot, and I mean like a lot of historical controversy with Nicaragua, they still remain both their largest import and export partner. The USA also has the largest community of Nicaraguans outside of Nicaragua, mostly situated in Miami. There's even a Little Managua district. Then we get to the big Alba countries, or Alianza Bolivariana para los Pueblos de Nuestra América, or the Bolivarian Alliance for the Peoples of Our America, aka Cuba, Venezuela, and Bolivia. These are the countries that hold tight to the ideals of Simón Bolívar with Bolivarian socialist-based governments, and Nicaragua fits right in. Cuba provided grants and development funding in the 70s and 80s. Venezuela provided them with oil. They even have a monument to Hugo Chavez in Managua, which was later destroyed by protesters. But otherwise, yeah, tight group. The other Central American countries generally get along with them. Five of them with Mexico share the same Independence Day on September 15th from the Spanish Empire, so they all kind of party on the same day. In 2006, they signed the Central America Four Free Mobility Agreement that allows free movement of peoples between El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua without nice. any restrictions. Out of the five, though, almost every Nicaraguan I've talked to has said either El Salvador or Costa Rica are probably their closest friends. Salvadorans get the gritty, rough, tough lifestyle that comes with a touch of controversy, and they share much culturally, whereas Costa Rica is the softer, gentler girlfriend that took in many refugees during war times. Even El Salvador took in refugees. You know it's a close bond when even El Salvador, with its own problems, takes in your refugees. In conclusion, That's in many true. ways, Nicaragua's story is very much like its land. There's a touch of volcanic precaution mixed in with beautiful tradition. It goes up, it goes down, but the people always know that in the end, this is their home no matter what. Stay Stay tuned, Niger is coming up Niger. next. Oh, there we go, Nicaragua. So you guys are pretty safe, man. So uh, that, that's pretty awesome, right? Like, well, they like the safest country, you know, down there. So no issues. You can go down there, hang out, and uh, enjoy some kind of like mysterious, cool stories and some the crazy you know, like women's stories. And I can get me some like a nice chocolate, like massage. And then I can go like snowboarding down like a volcano. So man, that's that. Come on, that sounds like a fun time. That sounds like a good time. Uh, maybe when you get locals can show me the way. But anyways, guys, please hit that like and subscribe button below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys continue the ride through every country in the world because that's what we do here. We like to learn new things 
and explore and all that fun stuff. But anyways, guys, yeah, like, subscribe, catch you guys in future videos. I really appreciate appreciate it. You guys have a good day. I'm out of here. Peace.